Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add pictures, shapes, and text boxes, icons, and screenshots to a selected chart to place additional information into your Excel charts. To insert a picture from your computer into a chart, select the chart area. Next, click the Pictures button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Insert Picture dialog box. Use this dialog box to locate the picture to insert. Then select the image to insert and click the Insert button in this dialog box. You can then select the inserted picture within the chart area to resize and format it as needed. To insert an online picture into a chart, select the chart area. Then click the Online Pictures button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Online Pictures dialog box. To search for an online picture to use, enter a keyword to find into the search field at the top of the dialog box and press your keyboard's Enter key. The pictures tagged with that keyword then appear in the window. Alternatively, click a picture category that initially appears in this dialog box to show its pictures instead. Alternatively, if you have a OneDrive location available, you can click the OneDrive button in the lower left corner of this window to display your OneDrive folders. You can click a folder to show its pictures in this dialog box instead. Then click or tap to select the image to insert within this dialog box. Then click the Insert button in this dialog box. You can then select the inserted picture within the chart area to resize and format it as needed. To insert a shape or text box into your chart, first select the chart area. Then either click the desired type of shape to insert from the choices shown in the scrollable listing within the Insert Shapes button group on the Format tab of the Chart Tools contextual tab in the ribbon, or click the Shapes drop-down button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon, and then select a choice from the drop-down menu that appears. Note that text box is simply a shape choice shown within this list. You can then click with your mouse at the position within the chart at which to insert the type of shape you selected to add a default shape. Alternatively, click and drag over the area within the chart you want the shape to cover to insert a shape of the size you choose. If you chose to insert a text box shape, you will then need to type the additional text to show within the text box. To add icons to a chart, click the chart area to select it. Then click the Icons button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Insert Icons dialog box. Then scroll through the list of icons organized by icon groups at the right side of this dialog box. You can also click the name of an icon group at the left side of the dialog box to quickly jump to and display that icon group to the right. Then click or tap to select the icon to insert in this dialog box. Then click the Insert button in the dialog box. You can then select the inserted icon within the chart area to resize and format it as needed. To add a screenshot to a chart, select the chart area. If you want to insert a picture of a file from another Office application, also ensure you have opened the Office application and displayed the content of the file to include. Then click the Screenshot button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. You can insert a picture of the contents of any opened Office application by clicking it within the Available Windows section of the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, to insert a screen clipping, click the Screen Clipping command in the drop-down menu to then minimize Excel and show your desktop with a white overlay over it. Click and drag with the crosshair icon that appears to select the section of the screen to insert as a picture into your chart. When you release the mouse button, the selected area is then automatically inserted as a picture into your chart. After inserting either type of screenshot, you can then select it within the chart area to resize it and format it as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.